Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you the team I'm currently using to clear branch dives level 135, as well as a few other teams that can also clear, but they're not as consistent. At the end of the video, I'll also be showing you the fastest sweet team currently on global, though that team is very RNG heavy. If you still haven't cleared up to dive 55 to unlock branch dives 135, I have a uh, I have my clears in the description. Uh, you check it out. So here we have the new Ohio Masons team. Uh, shout out to Itchy Ninja for finding a use for John Mason again. May he one day get a rearm. Itchy Ninja's Twitch is in the description. Check him out sometime. So here we have Casey Benz with HP HP tank gear, 50% crit res and 51% ground. Um, she has some haste, but that isn't needed. It's just a latent I had on the gear I placed on her. Here we have Gayun with attack speed anti-defender with her EE, but the EE isn't needed. And she could be on blaze and that would work as well. Or just normal attack speed with anti-defender. Yang on standard CDR gear with 76% haste. Sincere is her best in slot, but CDR Polymer works as well. If you don't have that, then full May CDR should work. Now here we have Lucretia. She's super important for this run because her ult will proc Ray, making him move forward. Um, she needs to be on 72% skill haste for the ulti to line up correctly with New Ohio's S2. Uh, what this will do is will cause Ray's skill to get pushed back before he's able to use it. And here we have our boy, John Mason. I have him on full CDR gear. I think 72% will work, but mine's on 74%. Uh, he is the key to making this fight easier. He will silence the boss, making sure that he can't use his skill or ulti um, I think until at least 150. Hopefully you have it cleared by then. Han Sorum, who's on attack bullet, anti-defender subs. Uh, her armor has 10% skill haste so that she can ult early. Abnon Rifleman, who's just on spectral blaze anti-defender, but T7 and uh, attack speed anti-defender to work just as well. Now here we have Soy Yoon, who's on full CDR so that she can uh, use her special twice if needed. Hopefully you won't have to, but it's just for insurance. New Ohio, just the regular New Ohio, no rearms, um, though the rearm latents are always nice. And then we have Sky here as our first support. She's on full CDR, 72%, so she can ult in time. Our second support is going to be Tarask, which is just on attack speed anti-fender, but Blaze anti-defender works just as well. He'll drop at about 219, uh, right before the burst phase. And then Dorothy's just here on some attack speed so she can proc her passive more often, but she's really only here for insurance purposes, just in case something goes wrong. Okay, so here we go into the boss fight. This team is very consistent in clearing all the nodes and enhanced nodes. I've yet to see it fail or the ship get chipped, forcing the AIs to switch ships on you. Uh, now, John Mason gets deployed here. Uh, he silenced in Clarith, which will help out. And with enough skill haste, he will have his skill back up for when Ray shows up. You'll see Lucretia ulting, which as I've said, will cause Ray to walk forward and right after uh, Ohio S2, which will push Ray skill back before he can use it. John Mason will end up silencing him, sealing the boss, and then that makes this fight a complete breeze. Uh, Ray never uses his skills, and he never gets this huge shield, which slows the fight down by a lot. If you happen to get a haste artifact, though, the then the Lucretia's ult will go off earlier, and Ohio won't be able to push Ray's skills back. And he'll get a special off, but then 
he'll, that'll be the only special he'll actually be able to use. Um, and it really only slows the run down by maybe 10 seconds normally. The fastest I've completed this boss with this team is around the 2 minute and 10 seconds mark, where the slowest has been at around 1 minute and 50 seconds. And normally it takes a full 7 minutes or so to clear the whole thing on auto. Now, here we have the Titan Ohio team. This one isn't as consistent um, as it can sometimes be chipped on the enhanced night node. Unfortunately, I thought about putting Casey in, but you would have to lead Casey to shield the ship to prevent that. But you need to lead Titan for the extra DP. Um, but this, for the most part, the same thing applies with Lucretius Proc and Ray. Uh, well, Proccing Ray and then an Ohio Mason to silence. This one is a little bit RNG. Uh, Alex can die, but normally that is an issue. Plus, she also gets knocked back a lot. And you see, we just burst the boss down here. Now, this team's a bit different with Enterprise Titan. Here, we just don't care about silencing or mechanics, so we're just trying to burn the boss down quickly. Um, you'll see in this that Gayun dies, um, but if she didn't, it might have been a quicker kill. Uh, the same thing applies with this team as the last, it sometimes can get chipped and then you lose all your support ships, slowing the run down. Yeah, it was this fight that Alex also died as well, but it was still able to clear. It has a lot of burst potential. Now, this team right here, uh, sadly I don't have any recordings of this team, but this is the known fastest boss clear on Global. I was able to clear the boss node in 39 seconds, but it's super RNG heavy, and it'll get chipped on the enhanced CBs node if you try to auto through it. Maybe someone watching can figure out how to make this team more consistent. If you do, let me know. I would be really interested to see it. But Besides that, um, thanks guys for watching. I uh, hope this helps you guys out. I'll have a link in the description for my dive 51 to 55 clear if you still need to do that. Though most of the teams here should be able to clear dive 51 to 55. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or message me on Snake Court. I'll leave a link in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.